Let's do a quick case study on activist investors by talking about what activist investors look for when making an investment. And then what we'll do is uh, we're going to look at a current investment by an activist investor called Elliott Management in a company called Dropbox, which many of you know. So let me start with why you should never, ever, ever invest in a company that is transitioning from growth to value. Because that period in between growth and value, which I'll explain in a second, that period in between growth and value is investment purgatory. And stocks that are stuck in investment purgatory transitioning from growth to value um, uh, are basically stuck there forever, unless an activist investor like Carl Icahn speeds up the, the transition. Now, let me talk about Carl Icahn and uh, a case study uh, in a company I invested in for years called eBay, which y'all know. So Carl Icahn, he's an activist investor. And what happened was eBay wasn't owned by many investors. And the reason was as follows. So there's growth investors and value investors. You're usually one or the other. Okay, so growth investors like to buy stocks that are expensive today and are growing fast. Okay, Value investors like to buy stocks that are cheap and not growing fast. Now, every growth company eventually becomes a value company. Right? Because the law of large numbers, it, you, big companies just can't grow materially. It is what it is. And so what happens is when growth slows, the growth investors sell the stock and value investors don't like it yet because it's not cheap enough. And so it takes usually a decade right, to transition to become a value investment. And you never want to invest in a company that's in transition because the likelihood that a growth or a value investor buys it this year, this month, this quarter, whatever, is quite low. Okay, never do that, never do that. Now, what can make a stock go from growth to value much faster, right? Which, what could be the catalyst to, 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 to shrink per, this purgatory uh, range here? Uh, what can cause a, a stock to actually go from growth to value fast is if a value invest, or if a, an activist investor uh, buys the shares and gets on the board. And so this is what Carl Icahn did. So Carl Icahn, he runs this big activist investment firm and he bought a massive position uh, in eBay years ago. And what happens is when you buy a big position in a company, you can join the board uh, and then you can fire executives, which is what he did to John Donahoe, who's the CEO, great guy, I met him. He, he used to work at Bain, nice guy, really tall. So Carl Icahn got on the board of, of eBay and he forced the company to split into two companies to unlock shareholder value. Why? Because at that time, you know, about 10 years ago, or whatever it was, at that time, eBay was basically two companies. They had PayPal and they had eBay. And value investors love eBay because it's, you know, it's, it's got great revenue visibility. And, you know, when we're in a recession, people sell more stuff as well, but it's not growing. And growth investors love PayPal because PayPal was growing very, very fast. And so what Icon did as an activist investor is he split eBay into two, okay? eBay and PayPal. And the market cap of those two companies combined, once PayPal got spun off, was way, way higher than eBay alone. So another reason activist investors try to bully a management team into making the stock price go up is if the company has had poor execution and the stock has underperformed, which is what happened with, with Twitter. Let's talk about activist investment firm Elliott Management and their interest in Dropbox. So the company went public back here in 2018. And the stock until recently, until Elliott Management announced that their stake, the stock was actually below the IPO price, which is ludicrous because all other tech stocks are at all time highs now. In fact, the price of Dropbox is now only slightly above the IPO price today because Elliott Management disclosed a 10% stake in the company. And when you own many shares in a company, what you can do is you can join the board and recommend changes, uh, and even on occasion, uh, fire members of the management team. So Elliott can even influence the board of Dropbox to sell the company. Now, if Salesforce, ticker CRM, bought Slack recently for close to $30 billion, then a firm buying Dropbox, ticker, uh, Dropbox for less than $15 billion could easily take place, easily. And I'm actually shocked that Dropbox has not yet been acquired 
especially since many tech stocks are overvalued and large tech companies can actually use their shares as overvalued currency to buy uh, the company like Dropbox. And this is what happened actually with AOL when they bought Time Warner in late uh, 1999. Now, to be intellectually honest and objective though, Dropbox growth is anemic, all things considered, at only 12% revenue growth. And, and maybe storage is a commodity. And I actually have a corporate license for Dropbox for all of my employees, and I've had it for five years. And, I'm not, and I've not seen any innovation in the product at all over the past five years. Now, Dropbox, the company itself, understands its issues. And earlier this year, what they did was they let 11% of the workforce go, and they're doing a $1 billion buyback, right? Which is, it doesn't usually happen when a company goes public within the first couple of years post-IPO. But it's strange for a growth stock to be cutting expenses. And it, it actually looks like it's between growth and value now uh, and soon to, maybe soon to enter investment purgatory. And so I really do believe that the company Dropbox is being incredibly mismanaged, hence the investment by activist firm Elliott Management. And Elliott Management has an amazing track record uh, in investing in tech and software companies. And I invested alongside Elliott for years when I worked in the hedge fund industry, uh, when they invested in CompuScare, CompuWare, uh, and also when they invested in troubled Linux and networking company uh, Novell and many others as well. They are excellent at enhancing shareholder value when it comes to software and internet investors. And I think their investment in Dropbox makes a lot of sense. And this deal reminds me a lot of when Elliott invested in Twitter a couple of years ago and they made a fortune.